I'm my last come style a sari with me today. So I'm going to show you how to style this simple sari and take it to the next level and make it feminine, girly and pretty. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Sindhu. I'm your friendly fashion stylist and a skincare enthusiast. In this channel, I share videos on styling your saris, outfit. I give you like uh, tips on how to be the better version of yourself. That's the new series that I've started in this channel. So subscribe and stay tuned for more. You won't believe this purple violet sari with all these like patterns, which is pretty. It's not my sari, it's not my mom's sari, but it's my grandmother's sari. She used to wear it on an everyday basis, you know, but still it's in a very mint condition. My grandmother was a working woman, so she had beautiful saris and she is a fashionista. So all her saris are in pristine condition. To be honest, her wardrobe is my dream wardrobe. She had so many saris and all the styles and everything a girl desires. I can find it in my grandmother's closet. I'm so thankful that I can like get the saris that she collected in all those years. I could get those. I'm so grateful. I'm beyond grateful to be honest. I bet you have a sari that is your favorite, whether it's your mom's or your grandmother's. But I know you have a sari that you always love to see your mom and your grandma or like whoever the woman who is close to your heart is. So today, I'm going to show you how to style that sari for you. Styling not just a sari, styling anything thing starts from you know um, deciding what kind of a look you want today in this sari I'm going for a feminine and girly and that kind of a look so I'm starting with a blouse which is like you know with frills with puffs and like with a big bow in the back which is definitely a statement for a girly feminine look this blouse is actually a crop top from Shein. If you like it, I'll have the link for this blouse in the description. Uh, check it out if you like to. Just like accessories, makeup also makes a huge difference when styling a sari or any outfit for that matter. So for this like sari, I chose to uh, go for very, you know, a simple but at the same time a little glam uh, of a makeup to bring out that look I want that, you know, the feminine girly but with a little bit of glam to it. If you want a full tutorial on how I did that makeup look, please let me know in the comment section so I'll edit the video and post it. If not, like, you know, I'll just skip it. For my hairstyle, I'm going for a very simple yet you know a put together look i don't want to do too much on my hair because already the blouse is a statement piece with the frills and the big bow and stuff and also uh, i'm going to add some stone jewelry to it if i add an elaborate look or you know a braids and uh, so many details on my hair it's going to um, spoil the whole look the reason i say it's going to spoil the whole look is because just like accessories if, if you do too much on everything uh, it's going to uh, everything is going to fight for attention and uh, nothing is going to look good so always balance it's very important to balance uh, your accessories your makeup and your hairstyle by balancing these, you will always end up with a very well put together look. With this particular look, uh, you can see me like uh, detangling my hair and then pulling some of my hair without like, you know, tugging on my hair. I'm just letting my hair flow and taking it and uh, adding uh, bobby pins to secure my hair in the back. Uh, one tip is always use more bobby pins to secure your hair because as the day passes, your hair will start unraveling from the bobby pins. To avoid that, add like more than three bobby pins. If you think you need like four bobby pins to secure your hair, add five to six bobby pins. More bobby pins is going to be better when it comes to keeping your hair in place and your hairstyle like uh, good until the day ends. I'm adding two hair clips with white stones uh, to match my other accessories uh, while styling this sari. While adding hair accessories, try to go with the same color or like stone themes of your other accessories which will again make your look very cohesive and all like you know planned out kind of a look. I'm starting to add like these white stoned accessories and you know because this sari is so simple I chose to add a hair clip to my pallu to make it even like you know a little elevated and add that glam element to it. The sari was really light and airy it was very easy to ha add the hair clip. When it comes to jewelry, I thought of adding this big uh, bright earring or this very pretty small butterfly earring. So finally I chose to go with the big uh, 
drop earring because you know uh, i don't want to add anything to my neck because already i have a hair clip on the side which is like gaining attention to my neck and my shoulders so i chose to go with a very big bold uh, earring that's going to uh, give the look much more a better look because when it comes to accessories always it's easy to uh, you know overdo it which will absolutely spoil the look so my hands also i chose like bangles as you see i chose those white stone bangles which are not like really bold it's very simple it's a very thin band uh, with lots of uh, stones in it which gave it a very better look if i would have chosen chosen something bold with lots of stones like you know uh, the layered stones it wouldn't have looked this better so going simple at the same time a little glam made this look so good of course i went with a stone themed uh, bindi or put also and i love how it completes the look just with the touch so my loves i hope you loved uh, the way i styled this sari and also the way i uh, explained my thought process and the tips i gave you if you like that definitely give a thumbs up button so i will know for sure that you liked it also let me know in the comment section uh, what are your thoughts and what other sarees you want me to style and show you how you can style your sarees i already have two sarees uh, styled and ready to be edited like one is a silk saree and a georgette saree so definitely click that subscribe button so you won't miss out on it that's it for this video my loves i hope you all had fun i'll catch you in my next video until then remember you are amazing just the way you are don't let anyone say otherwise bye bye with love sindhu